Hi right, guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to burn a bootable DVD via Windows. Okay guys, so I made a previous video on this on this topic, uh, how to burn an ISO to DVD uh, Windows bootable disk. So I actually used a program called Image Burn. Um, since then, uh, a few people have told me that uh, when they install Image Burn, they've been getting malware come up. Now, I've been using this program, Image Burn, for quite a long time, and I've never had the problem with uh, the uh, malware coming up on that program. Um, so it's it's something that they've included in the program recently. Um, what I've done is I've put a disclaimer up on the, on the video there as well and also on the download section I've actually removed the link for the ISO image burn uh, from the 123MyIT website so let me just find it real quick image burn all right so it's been removed now now so it's unfortunate because it's a really good program it's a free program but f for some reason uh, the programmers have decided to add in some malware so um, I'm now going to uh, show you how to burn a ISO file um, or, a, or a, a bootable Windows file to DVD um, just using the Windows software uh, as, as a workaround for that other software. Okay, so what do we need to do? So if you've got your Windows file here, this is a uh, Windows Pro 8.1 64-bit uh, ISO file and I put in the uh, DVD into the um, DVD drive on the PC and what we're going to do here is just double click on this image drive and just check that it's all got the correct uh, Windows files in there that's all correct so that's fine we're going to right click on the uh, ISO file and go to burn disk image all right then we're going to select our DVD burner okay well the DVD is is, is the correct one it's the only one on, on this on this laptop that I'm using uh, the file is is that one there which is fine status okay now um, if you want to verify the disk it's probably if, if you're doing a bootable disk it's probably a good idea just to hit the verify afterwards and hit burn so you can see there now the status has changed to burning disk and image and recordable uh, disk okay so that's pretty much it guys uh, this will go through and burn it should take maybe uh, five to ten minutes depending on the speed of your drive and uh, the hardware of your PC also um, it depends on the size of the ISO file that you're burning. Once this is completed, then you should be able to take this DVD and uh, install it on um, uh, another PC or Mac. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.